I'm back with another video. No, this has nothing to do with X. I don't know why I have this right here, but I've been meaning to make this video for quite some while now, for quite some time. And there's no wrong or right way to do this, so I'm gonna just do it. After all, Bruce Lee said, be water, be water. So this video is about no one's going to love you unconditionally except for your mother and grandma, if you're lucky. You even have some people out there, their mother and grandmas don't like them for whatever reason. They don't like you because they don't like your father up to the point they didn't like him. They don't, you look like your father, you the spit in image, you even have his tendencies and propensities. I mean, you're more like your father than you would like to see. Shit, it's epigenetics. It's how it works. I see that through observation. Aside from the ones before me or currently that speak on these things, no, I see it. Nothing like actually experiencing it. I actually see it, even introspection with myself. I see I'm like, yo. So this is an appreciation video to the mothers, your grandma, your mom, just mothers in general. It's crazy the dads get no love, but I wouldn't know what that's like, so can't speak on what I don't know. But someday I may make a video on it. I don't, that don't exist in my realm. I wouldn't even call a dude that, that sound gay, I will backhand your ass. And shout out to the fathers out there too. I don't know what that, let's keep on topic. And the reason why it's so big, like, I feel like a lot of people take it for granted or they look past it they think that they mother is going to wake up tomorrow they expect that <laughs> what makes it big your mother is going to be the only one that love you unconditionally let's say and i ain't gonna talk about me say it's a it's a guy right for whatever reason along the ride or road you ended up in this fucked up position you were a mirror of this construct and you reacted to to the external in turn you go out and commit <clears throat> mass genocide the victims being men women and children yes all colors sizes and yes aliens too you go out there and you commit genocide on men women and children they're the victims unconditional love your mother will still go through all the press all the media all the all the people yelling crying screaming hate slurs the words of the mother failed, the father failed as well, and you should, and your kid ain't this, and he's that, and she'll go through all that, put her black pea coat on, it's raining, umbrella on, head down, the press is to the left and right of her trying to get the scoop, and she'll still walk through them and be behind that glass to see you, while the world is against you and her, that's different, like that's that's different. Do you know females? You know female nature. They lie to each other. They don't tell the truth about shit. They want to be liked. They don't want to. They can't stand not being liked. As a collective, I ain't talking about no exception to the rule. I'm just talking about the standardized fact of what we see. So that's big too. The, the, the weight of the world, the hate, the press, the everybody with their torches and siphons and signs and marching and upset because and these are some of their loved ones the victims men women and children or what your son took from them and she will still go up there to see you on visitation if she and hold your hand because she still can look through your eyes and see that spark in your eyes when you was that little boy that was innocent and she know it's still in there somewhere and you just reacted one day and things went wrong and she still know you the courts and what they got to say and their punishment don't mean shit She's still there and she know that they're the same. 
Like that shit different. A lot of people, y'all take that shit for granted. You put a thought before your mom. This little thought. First of all, her mom was a freak neat hoe getting bent over over picnic tables in her Easter clothes. You going to pick this thought that was bent over in all kind of submissive animations by all different kind of archetypes over your mom? That is insane to me. And in this lifetime, I know reincarnation is real, but in this lifetime, you get one mom. You're going to get hella different girlfriends, probably. You're going to... Some people that can't stand a baby mom. As you see with Tyree's mom, I mean, not mom, with his baby mom's doing to him, going through the courts and all that, he up there crying. After all, it is a thin line between love and hate. That line thin, okay? It's a thin line between love and hate. So my... My job is to get you to that line. Whether you fall on ying or yang, I wouldn't give a fuck. I got you to the line, bitch. Let's get back on topic. But yeah, that's big. Like, really look at that. Really introspect. Really look in the mirror and see what's reflecting. Really, like, you can do all that and she will still be there. I don't know if she just wired that way or it's because of you literally was in her stomach incubating or whatever. Like, or if it's multiple things. I feel like it's multiple things, really, but... She's through all that to hate the world, hate you, and the press, and the news, and the media, and coverage, and all can be against you and her. She's still going to be there. You thought baby mom ain't going to be there. And she don't love you unconditionally. She love. Which, which, it come with conditions. Just know that. If you get rendered useless, your ass gets sniped, and you can't use the lower half of your body, somebody else is going to be hitting their buns. That's just how it go. So people have their own interpretation of love or loyalty or whatever. I feel like it's one and the same. Love is loyalty to me. That's why I ain't going to lie to you. I don't tell people I love them. I don't love you. I don't. I have value and appreciation for whatever your purpose is or whatever you. But I love myself and that's unconditional. Love will, love is unconditional. To me, it's that and it's loyalty. It's all. It's a collage. It's porridge. It's mixed in. It's inseparable. It ain't no love but you. Nah, then what you saying love is it's some different kind of love, and I don't want it, and I don't fuck with that. Mine's is different. But yeah, so this is for you to take the time out and introspect. Look in the mirror and see what's reflecting. Assess off of that and, and move right. After, after all, you just... Again, a lot of people expect their moms to wake up the next day. It's going to be a day. She ain't going to wake up. Hell, some may say if you lucky, you ain't going to wake up before her. So you wouldn't, you get what I'm getting at. So you just take the time out and appreciate the ones that, and I know it's like, you already get videos and dear mamas and songs for your, you know, and it's like the father's getting no love. I mean, don't even know if I really can make a video on it. I don't, haven't been through that, that. That, that doesn't exist in my realm of things even though i know they exist out there it could be the opposite the mother ain't around for whatever reason and then the father loved each child unconditionally and he there through and he'd be the one that's go through all that the press and the coverage and everybody hating him and his child for what they done to i know that exists as well but i haven't seen it so i can't really speak on it R.I.P. to my grandma. Again, I don't like to say R.I.P. because I don't like how that sound. Resting in peace. Have you ever slept for 13 hours straight? And then you've been laying down so much to where you forced to get up? You ever been asleep so long you forced to get up? I can't lay down no longer. Like, Don't nobody need that much goddamn rest. I got. still got to find something that's more fitting to, to say that. Like, um... <clears throat> And so, yeah, this is just a quick video, an appreciation video, so you can really reflect and yeah, just show them. Show them more than anything, because the language before words that's uttered is your actions, your body language, how you treat and how you make someone feel. So, yeah, try to keep it as concise as possible. That's it for this video. <clears throat> it's 913, okay.
numerology my bad don't forget to like the video if you like the video comment share subscribe turn on post notifications DM me the link via x formerly known as twitter let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about follow me on twitch kick and rumble before we start rumbling i kick your ass and you end up twitching I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.